So in this video, we are going to see as to how to import CSV and OSM data into Postgres. So the unique thing about this video is CSV contains a latitude and longitude, which we need to convert to geometric column and insert into Postgres and OSM data because the data model is complex can sometimes be tricky to insert into Postgres. So we look into both these formats to how to import these file formats into Postgres. So let us begin with uh, CSV. So the CSV that we intend to upload to Postgres contains uh, five columns with the uh, cafes, uh, restaurants, grocery stores in and around Bangalore. So as you can see that uh, this is Cafe Azure in City Bangalore uh, with uh, lat long and the type. What we intend to do is insert this lat long as geometric column and use the PostGIS extension so that we can visualize on the map. So to do so, we would follow certain steps. Uh, let us see what those steps are. And also note that there are certain rows which does not contain either of latitude or longitude. So PostGIS would handle that for us, but uh, we need to be sure that there are certain uh, null values as well. So let us see how we do it. So to insert CSV, first we would run an OGR info command with the file name that we have and we would summarize it. So let us see, let us first do that and see what uh, output we get. So I would type the OGR info and then the file name first and see the output. You can see that uh, it is using driver CSV, CSV driver and then spitting out what the layer it contains. So as you can see, the layer uh, is named same as the file name. So what we need to do is append the layer name to the command and also append a flag SO. SO is summary only so that we don't have all the details spit out on the screen. So as you can see, it contains layer name. It cannot recognize the geometry. It contains 17,000 features and it contains uh, these five columns. So once we have an idea that uh, these are the columns and um, we, we know that what rows we want, what column names we would like a geometry to contain. So geometry essentially would be a point with latitude and longitude. So we need to be sure of these names. So the next step would be to create an extension called PostGIS and connecting to our database. So in our case, this entire string that you see is essentially helping us connect to the database. What it contains is this is the username and the password. This is the host, which is in our case is the local host or our own machine. This is the port to connect to the database, to the server. And then this, uh, the last string is your database. In case uh, you don't have a database ready, you need to create the database first and then run this command or else it would fail. So we would copy this command and then uh, check the output. So let us paste the command. Here you can see we, we are using PS, PSQL and uh, giving a command calling create extension PostGIS then passing the connection string. So once we do that, uh, let us run it and see what the output is. Here you can see that the error is that I already have PostGIS extension, so I don't have to worry. In your case, it would say create extension if you don't have already. So after this step, the next step would be to run this entire string. So this might be scary at first as to why there are so many flags, but idea is to have as many commands as possible or flags as possible. So as to give an idea when to use what. So going through the command by step, we see that OGR to OGR, which is a Swiss knife for converting vector geometry from one format to other, uh, specifying the output format that we want it to be Postgres and then specifying the connection string. This is saying that connect to the database Postgres with user Postgres to my server localhost in this case and the password 1234. After that, we specify what file you want to insert into Postgres. In this case, it is filter all cat data.csv. 
after that there are some additional flags which would help postgis know which columns to use for geometry so here we are saying that dash oo which is open options saying that x possible name should be longitude url which is essentially saying that from my csv take this column name longitude url and treat this as the x component of your geometry or the longitudinal component of the point geometry and similarly for y which is saying that latitude should be my y and after that you specify nlt saying what geometry type do you want it to be in this case we are explicitly saying it to be point geometry but even without this ogr to ogr uh, would be is wise enough to know what geometry type it should be and after that we say that a flag nln and pass uh, the name cat data copy saying that when you insert this file into postgres my table name should be cat data copy without this flag your table name would be the same as your file name which you are inserting and last second uh, flag is your sql statement which is saying that i only want to insert these columns from this file so here you could make sql statement as complex as you would like and lastly we say we are assigning an srs of epsg 4326 so this last command says that i want a geographic coordinate reference system with wgs 84 or epsg 4326 because ogr to ogr cannot know what crs to assign for these long and lat so this in whole explains uh, this entire command now let us copy this command and uh, run it on a terminal so i'm on my terminal let us clear this and paste the entire command and run it so as you can see there was no error as such and now let us see if uh, it got inserted to into our database so let me bring the table and let us see so i am in my database postgres database and when i look at the tables i can see that there is a table called cat data copy which we had named and now let us uh, fetch the rows here you can see that these five columns were inserted which we specified using the sql command and there is an additional column that is inserted by ogr to ogr by default which is a primary key and finally we have our uh, geometry column which was created using latitude and longitude from these five columns and if i try to visualize some of them here you can see that uh, we have a few cafes or uh, few points on this map which we can visualize and if i click on this you can see that i get the attribute values as well so this is cafe azure in uh, campegord international airport uh, this also is outside the airport motorcycle cafe in the hills and similarly we have another one here i don't know what this is but 20th mile cafe so some cafe near the airport so as you can see this is how we import csv into postgres with postgres extension so we have a geometry column as well and this can be very powerful for uh, further analysis now let us look into how to insert uh, osm data into postgres or postgres so for osm we would follow similar steps but only thing that would change is that uh, you would need to have another extension called hstore apart from postgres so you need postgres extension and an hstore extension so that we could use the complete capability of postgres and postgres so in the first step what we do is we run ogr info command on our osm data the osm data is in pbf 
format which is protobuf binary format which is a highly compressed format uh, allowing us to download data within small size and this final uh, string here is uh, one of the layers of this protobuf format so let us copy this first command and look into what this file contains so i'm i'll open my terminal again and paste this so first let us first just ozr info or the osm data and you can see here that uh, it was using osm driver and it had it has five layers in it so out of these layers i just want to insert multi polygons if you do not specify any of the layers while inserting it would insert all of these in separate tables so let us specify multi polygons and again give the flag co so for summary only here you can see that uh, we get a lot more information here we get the layer name the geometry and the extent and the crs as well which in this case is 4326 and after that we have all these columns in the in the file similar to what we had in the csv again you can use a uh, sql statement to select only few of these and not all so once we have uh, an idea of what the file contains we can go ahead and insert this file into postgres so to do that let us first look at the command so here you can see again we are using ogr to ogr and specifying the output format as postgres the pg co connection string is the same here now we changed our file name to protobuf format binary format uh, which is our osm data after that we specify the layer that we want to insert and here again we pass the similar command which is what name do i want my table to be and if you do not pass this the table name would be multi polygons and after that we pass some additional parameters or flags which in this case is uh, layer creation options saying that for column type other tags if you remember we had a column type other tags i want it to be a head store we look into what head store is and after that we say that uh, to overwrite which means if there is a data is if there is a table named bahamas m polygon or m poly just override it for me after that we say skip failures so if there is any failure when inserting a data into the database skip them and lastly we say what to insert so in previous uh, sql previous uh, ogr command you have seen a uh, sql command but you can also use where command which uh, says that which which allows us to pass a string similar to sql so here we are saying that name is not null so name is a column in this file and we are saying that only insert when name is not null so if we go back and look at all the columns that this file had you can see there is other tags and there is a name column as well so we are inserting the row into the database only when name is not null is what uh, this where clause is doing and after that there are some additional filtering that we could do is saying that i only want my data within this bound so this bound is if you look visualize in qgis is this extent so the background that the shape that you see is the bahamas latest osm data that i downloaded from geofabric and on top of this i only want data within this region so you could specify that as well using the ogr command and lastly you say that uh, i want to promote my polygons to multi polygons if you do not pass this it would fail because when you are clipping to this uh, region 
it would essentially break down the geometry and then only insert uh, smaller parts and that can cause your multi polygons your polygons to fail so you need to um, convert them to multi polygons so all in all we are inserting osm data into postgres so let us first copy this and uh, see the output on pg admin Let me clear the screen and then copy it and let me paste it. You can see the famous GDAL progress bar and there you go. So it inserted uh, very quickly and let us uh, now look into PG admin if it has our table. Let us refresh it. So if you see here we have our Bahamas Empoli and let us look at first 100 rows here so as you can see uh, we have our first 100 rows and interesting thing is to notice our name columns are out filled in nothing is null here and additional thing is our duplicated geometry which is our geometry column and finally we want to touch into head store so we'll just look into head store what this is but uh, let us first visualize our geometries so if i just copy this and view it as you can see our geometry is bounded to our region as you can similarly see on our uh, qgis so this all works fine. Uh, finally, we'll look into what HStore is. So HStore is a key value pair. So because OSM data model is quite complex, and uh, there are certain flags which could be insert could be included in one of the rows and not other. It provides a HStore, a key value pair or a JSON object type, which allows us to put arbitrary values inside this. So you can have number of values inside. So we look into one of the flags. So this is essentially the key and uh, this is the value. And you can have multiple such key value pairs which uh, do not fit in the relational database model and you can insert them in the head store. You can read more about head store on the Postgres uh, documentation which is quite well laid out. So that is all from uh, this video. So we saw how to insert OSM data and uh, CSV into Postgres with the geometry column using PostGIS extension and head store extension.